so I was looking uh, uh, earlier on at one of the uh, many Roddenberry productions that's out there, DaysMissing.com. Yes. Uh, it was the f- first time that I've looked at that website, admittedly, so I wasn't entirely sure what it is. So, I mean, could you fill us all in on, on what is DaysMissing.com? Absolutely. Um, you know, I'm, I'm fortunate in many ways, and one is that uh, one of my, my best friends that I've known since I was 13, his name's Trevor Roth, um, he's got a great uh, marketing and business background, and he approached me to uh, run Roddenberry Productions. And back when I was running it in early 2001, I had developed it, or I had brought it back to an online merchandising store. Uh, Originally, it was started by my mother in the 60s, and it was called Lincoln Enterprises. I changed the name and brought it into the 21st century. Now, um, he really, I had to train him a little bit, but he really started to get what, Roddenberry was about because that's my number one thing you know I don't care what we do I don't care if it's merchandise movies whatever it's really got to represent the name you've heard me say that a million times he in the last few years has really uh, uh, gotten the creative side of Roddenberry down and he developed this concept called Days Missing everything has a little bit of a pre-story a story and a post-story but uh, he basically um went out there, developed a character, and did a fantastic do- job creating it as a Roddenberry character. And I'll, I'll tell you the premise, because I'm, I'm rambling here. <laughs> the premise is there's been this being that's been around since the dawn of time. And this being doesn't really know where he came from um, and doesn't know why he was put here or how he got here. But he has been here since the dawn of time, cannot die. Uh, he's witnessed our entire history and has kept a journal for each major event. And he has a unique ability to fold back a 24-hour period of time, meaning he can basically snap his fingers or blink his eyes and bring the entire universe back 24 hours. And what this does, this allows him to be at critical points in our our, our human evolution, And if we were going down the wrong path, he would be able to sort of give us a nudge and help us by throwing us back 24 hours and influencing us to perhaps make a different or better decision. And what I love about this is it really is set in real historical events. Um, There's there's been five issues out for the first series, and there's one issue just came out for the second. And um, it's really a human character, uh, excuse me, really a Roddenberry character in the sense that He's searching for his own humanity, and he believes in our species. He thinks we are an amazing species and wants to help us. He does his best not to interfere but to influence and let humanity learn from its own mistakes. And and he's fallible. He doesn't always make the right decision. He doesn't always bring us back 24 hours and take us down the right road. Uh, and, and that's what I love. I mean, he makes mistakes. And so so let me just go on. It, it, the first five books, uh, uh, comic books, um, received almost every rave review out there. You know, it was uh, gold stars and first prizes and, and tops on, on almost every list. And uh, I'm only saying that because I'm so proud of what Trevor and the publisher, Arkea, have done. They have really represented the Roddenberry name. What, what was... The, the cherry on the cake was when we were at Comic-Con and a lady came up and she said, I, I don't like comic books. I don't read comic books. But this is the next Roddenberry project. And she loved it. And it, it, it's, it set itself up perfectly for a TV show or movie. And there's, of course, a lot of interest. And we'll let you know if any of that interest becomes reality. But um, I, I, even if you're not a comic book fan out there, I don't like comic books. I don't read comic books. These are great stories. They're quick, great stories. I highly recommend you guys go to your local comic book store. If they don't have it, ask them to get it. Go to roddenberry.com, pick it up there. It's really well done. And please, the first episode, uh, the first comic book of the second series is phenomenal. Phenomenal. And I'm not saying that because it's mine. I'm saying that because (laughs) Trevor and the writers and Archaea 
nailed it. Yeah. Nailed it.